be here and to be a part of the of the uh, Coach Bryant, uh, you know, Coach of the uh, Coach of the Year awards. I mean, this is a special uh, special event, and uh, you know, to be able to be here with all the great coaches and to represent our team, uh, you know, the work that they put in, our wonderful staff that I get to that I get to uh, uh, to be a part of, and uh, you know, just to, to be able to look back and celebrate, you know, all that was done throughout the course of the season. Uh, it was a special year. It was one that will be remembered and one that will be celebrated, uh, you know, forever. And in, in the things that that our players were able to accomplish, uh, third time ever. Uh, to be 13 and 0 at uh, at Florida State, and uh, you know to be able to win a conference championship, and you know all the great things that were done on and off the field, and so uh, definitely uh, you know, humbled for for the opportunity that I that I had to to coach this team, and excited about you know, all the things they did to get us to where we are as we continue to push and and build this moving forward. So uh, you're just grateful for everybody for allowing me to be here. That was going to be my question, Coach. With the uh, all the talk in the last few weeks of being left out of the playoff, the the bowl game, all this kind of stuff, it feels like it's it all overshadowed the tremendous success you had, beating the Heisman Trophy winner, winning at Clemson, where people rarely win. I mean, all the achievements of the season. Have you yourself had a chance to just disconnect and look back and appreciate what you guys really achieved? Yeah, I mean, you know, we tried to. Uh, you know, uh, as you go through the journey, I mean, you try to have a pr appreciation for what's been done. And, you know, there were so many great moments. And you look back to the first game of the season and you mentioned you know, the LSU game and you know, we're down 17, 14 at half. And to see a team come out from the locker room and go on a 38 to nothing run. I mean, that was pretty special to see against a very talented, you know, offense and and, and team that we were playing. The, the win at Clemson, you know, and just the the way that it, the, the ebb and flow of that game and um, you know, to see, you know, we were a football team. And and that's what was the best thing about it, is it didn't matter offense, defense, special teams. Those guys were going to find a way uh, to be successful and to, to carry that for 13 straight weeks. And, you know, obviously it would be the unfortunate uh, you know, injury to, to Jordan Travis, you know, our starting quarterback, uh, you know, to see a backup go on the road and in, in, into Gainesville and to, to get a big win over a rival and then. You know, even more adversity for the conference championship with a, a true freshman quarterback, you know, that was, you know, really third string, uh, you know, going into it and uh, just to see us find a way to win a conference championship. And those are the things that will forever be remembered. Uh, you look back at the end of the season and to have three top 20 wins, you know, I think we're maybe the only team in the country that to have those, that, you know, to have that here at the season end and, uh, you know, just special. It was, like I said, it's a team that's going to be celebrated. Uh, you know, there, I know there's a lot of focus that goes on to the decisions that were made, you know, post postseason, but uh, ultimately I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for every experience I got as we were on that journey. Never too early to look ahead to next season. Obviously, you'll have a quarterback battle to figure out, but bringing in a guy that has ACC playing experience already, how much is that going to help? Yeah, you know, I'm excited about this team that we that we have moving forward, and uh, you know, we've we've really you know, had a great focus over the years to find like-minded individuals to come in that, that love to work. Uh, you know, obviously, guys that care about uh, you know, the relationships and and you know, building you know, continuing to build this program uh, to where we all know that it can go. And uh, you know, guys are just you know that truly want to be the best. And you know, everybody's got a different dirt journey and a different background of, of how we what it's taken to get here. Uh, but I'm excited for this team, and I'm excited for the for the work that we have in front of us and uh you know we're gonna we're gonna put everything we have to make sure that we're con continuing to take those positive steps and building up florida state uh to ultimately to be the best that we can possibly be one more for you open in next season in dublin have you ever been to ireland before will this be the first time i have not it'll be a, it'll be a first uh i, I know i'm going to take a, a trip i think uh you during during our spring break and go over and uh, you know, get a chance to, to experience a little of that, uh, you know, before we go over for the game. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely excited to, to, kick, to kick off college football next year and uh, to be able to do it with uh, with this team. And it's going to be a, a great, a great stage, a wonderful experience. And, you know, I know our guys will be ready. All right, we will take a question from Zoom. First one is from Kip Perry. Kostadakis from Tomahawk Nation. You've spoken about the special moments you saw from this team. A team is a reflection of its coach. Which ones do you think exemplify the reasons that you are a finalist for this award tonight? You know, I was just, uh, I was so proud of the, the response. I know I talked about that a little bit earlier, but, you know, we had to, our team, you know, they were, they, they fought so hard and, uh, you know, they, they responded in all situations, you know, they, you could see, uh, you know, we weren't just one, 
position. We weren't just one side of ball. I mean, it was a collective effort, um, you know, and to, to see that, to know all the experiences that we've been through over the last four years to, to get to that point. I mean, you saw a confident team that took the field uh, regardless of circumstance. And uh, you, it was a, it was a team that, you know, to be celebrated, you know, like I said, celebrated forever. And, uh, but it was, it was truly because of the heart and the work that they were able to invest. Another one from Zoom. Uh, Coach Carr was here earlier and commented that if you're going to win a Coach of the Year award, this is the one you want to win. What makes this award so special and what would it mean to you to win it? I mean, when you you think about Coach Bryant, uh, you know, he he exemplified excellence in, in the game of college football. And for the teams that he coached, uh, for the impact that he had, for the coaches that he was able to do it with that were under his mentorship and, you know, how that how they continue to to, uh, uh, you know, influence the game for so many years. I mean, it, this is this is, you know such a special award and um you know, it would it would mean you know, everything as a compliment to the to the players I got to coach and the staff I get to work a part of uh you know to uh, to celebrate you know what was done and um you know what they've you continue to allow uh, for us to build you know, here at Florida State but um you know it is you know, definitely a special honor to, to even be recognized as a finalist but uh, you know, it would be be you know, pretty incredible to to be able to win it so a quick question. I've kind of been asking some of the coaches this. What's this offseason been like? And how much more taxing is it now with having to re-recruit your roster, the transfer portal, NIL, all this stuff going on? I mean, is it is it that much more of the workload? I know people say you're you're paid well, cry me a river, but I, the coaches, it is a lot more work, right? Yeah, I mean, it's and it's not, you know, it's not just for it's one thing to point to the coaches. It's, you know, it's also for the players, for everybody involved. I mean, there's just, uh, you know, college football is, is definitely going through some, some monumental changes. And, uh, you know, for, for us, um, you know, the, with all of those different elements, it is, um, you you have to adapt, you have to adjust. I mean, but we're going to stay true to the core who we are. And, you know, this is, uh, it's still about getting a chance to, to see young men, you know, go through their journey to prepare them for all that life has in front of them. And uh, that's, that is, uh, that is what we try to do. And, you know, I think when you look at this team, you know, here at Florida state last year, you know, we had, you know, got an unbelievable mix of, uh, of, you know, experiences and uh, the backgrounds and journeys and personalities and all that has come come together for to, to be a part of a family and to be a part of a team. And you know, not only did we did we have the season that we had on the field, but to, to see the growth and uh, success that our guys had off the field, impact in the community, had the highest ever uh, you know fall GPA for 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 a, a team at Florida State. I mean, it was really. Uh, that that's what it's about. And, you know, the, the life lessons where guys can look back 20, 30, 40 years from now and, and know that their time uh, there in Tallahassee has helped prepare them for what, what the, what the world can throw at them is, is important to me. And, uh, you know, I think that's something that, you know, is, is important regardless of all the, the other uh, you know, factors that you stay true to, to be able to make that kind of impact. Hey Mike, Dave Corin. Um, I'm interested on, to to get your take on on the new look ACC specifically the schedule you guys are playing losing some teams that you played every year and now seeing some different faces. Well, you know it's it's unique. Um, you know, obviously, I know we're. we're and you're heading to Dallas, you know, we've got uh, you this next year, which will, uh, um, you know, with SMU coming in and then, you know, obviously with Stanford and Cal, uh, you know, uh, you know, joining the conference as well. Um, you know, there are the dynamics, you know, this year was the first year not having divisions. And I thought that played well. I mean, to, to look and see that, you know, Louisville and, and uh, you know, you know, our team to be able to meet, meet up in the conference championship, you know, the two best teams, regardless of, of a, of, you know, a division was, was, was really good for the conference. And, uh, you know, ultimately, Ultimately, you know, there's still a, a tie of, you know, certain rivalries and, and games that, you know, that you want to see and you want to be a part of. But, you know, it is it is different. And so, uh, you know, ultimately it goes back to control and some of the things that you can control. And, uh, you know, obviously it's going to be a, a very competitive league like it's like it is each each and every year. But, uh, you know, excited for excited for some of the new experiences and new teams that we'll get to play and, uh, you know, continuing to push to to go forward. All right, we'll wrap up with one last question from Zoom. This one from Oslin Hajavandi from Warchant.com. He says, what is the process behind DJ Lundy recommitting to the program earlier today? 
Well, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, we're we're uh, we're excited about DJ and uh, you know, um, you know, being a part of our our program here moving forward. And uh, you know, it is a uh, it is a different age in college athletics. And uh, you know, I love DJ, and you know, I've spent been able to spend four years with him and watched him grow, uh, you know, on and off the field, and uh, you know who he is and what he's all about. And um, you know, I think as he's got a chance to to explore you know, options and see things that are out there, you know, sometimes, you know, it, it helps grow the appreciation for, for where you are and who you get to do it with. And, um, you know, we're, we're uh, excited about you, know, him and, you know, all the, all the guys that are on our team, you know, because in today's age, everybody's got a decision to make. And uh, I think we've put putting together a, a wonderful team and, uh, you know, it's going to be a, a fun team to coach and, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a great experience for those guys to be able to do it together. Perfect. Coach, thank you very much. Congrats on a great season. Thank you so much, and go Knowles.